All right, man, we back. Uh, Marcy Sports Talk to Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. And Jeremy got Jeremy Grant apparently said that he uh, believes Detroit Pistons can do some big things next season. I believe he said make the playoffs. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Uh, share the video for your boy, okay? And it says, Jeremy Grant, shout out to Free Press again. Many across the league, when he left a contending Denver Nugget team to prove himself with the Detroit Pistons in November, but beyond the opportunity to show he could succeed in a future role, Grant's decision to leave was also motivated by knowing the man in charge of the Pistons. Trey Weaver was an assistant GM when Grant was in with the Oklahoma City Thunder, 17-19. Weaver, deeply familiar with Grant and his potential to make the leap from role player to star, Grant trusted Weaver Vision. His plan to quickly restore rather than rebuild. Grant isn't long removed from being a young player in, in a rebuilding situation. He was drafted by the Philadelphia 76ers in 2014, a time when the organization was committed to aggressive multi-year uh, tank and attempt to acquire high draft picks, a strategy known as the process. With 11 games remaining, uh, the Pistons are 18 from 18 to 43, third worst in the NBA. It should enter the June draft lottery in the top five, but this doesn't feel anything like his time in Philadelphia. Grant uh, said after the 115-109 loss to the Patriots. On Saturday, the difference, he doesn't think the Pistons are interested in losing as many games next year. No, it's not the same, Grant said. It's a lot different. It's not a rebuild. Troy always said it's not three or four years into the future. We're looking forward to doing something big next year. So, no, it doesn't have the same feeling. Sixers won just 18 games during Grant's rookie season and 10 during his sophomore season, and he endured a 28-game losing streak, the longest skin in American professional sports history. The start of the end of the first season and, and bled into and bled into the second. The Pistons would finish with the worst winning percentage since '81 if the season ended today, but they're likely to win uh, more games in 18 games despite. Uh, fewer games on the schedule, so they're already better than the Sixers were. But Grant, but Grant's vote of confidence also sp speaks to the growth of the team. All right, I don't got time for that. He said, "We understand. We've got to understand time, core situation. Um, what's open playing with Pat, playing, playing, playing in the crowd, passing in the crowd because you work too hard on the defensive end." Pistons close to win. Casey said after the game. Um, uh, when we when we step on the court, they're ready to play. Grant said they have had great mentality. Okay, I don't freaking know. It's a lot of quotes in here. Um, but um, I mean, you expect the big things, but I I, I don't know. To be honest, um, a lot of guys got to take the leap. A lot of guys got to take that leap. You know. A lot of guys got to take that leap, man. If those guys don't take that leap, then um, I, don't, I really don't see it next year. That means Killian got to take a big step. That means Stewart got to take another big step. That means Bay got to take another step. All that happening, then you got to find the right veteran pieces. Um, the coach suck, in my opinion. So, I mean, like I said, continue to be bad. You know, the question is, will Jeremy Grant be here next year? You know, he's speaking like he's going to be here, like you know he's going to be here, and I think he will because him and Trey Weaver are good friends. But honestly, you know, Boyer, Josh Jackson, and I think Josh Jackson want to get the hell on anyway because he didn't prove himself. He got a two-year contract, but he didn't prove himself. Somebody like the Lakers of Brooklyn can use a guy like that. But really, it's just an overhaul. It's just an overhaul, you know. And really, you just don't have enough veterans to fit in there. You know, um, you got Grant, Bay. Jackson that played in all the same position. So, I mean, you know, are you willing to say Jeremy Grant at the four, Bay at the three, and if you get Jalen Green next year at the two? Okay, then. Stewart at the five? Okay. Not bad, though, but still you got to worry about DuBois. Do you flip him? You know. I mean, he looking at Stanley Johnson. This is what the name is for. He's not getting consistent minutes. I just, I really don't expect him to take a leap next year. You know, it should be a three or four year thing like, Look at Philadelphia. They so happen just to miss on Markel Folks, you know. But then again, they got it right with Ben Simmons. They got it right with uh, Joel Embiid. Imagine if they would have took Jason Tatum, you know. So, really, that's what you want to do. Start of being in that 7 to 10 to 15 range. You don't want to be there. 
You want to be on the top, and then next year just look. I mean, who who they gonna make a move? Sh- Chicago coming up. You know, uh, Cleveland coming up a little bit. Charlotte coming up. So be bad and wait your turn. That's my thing about it. Be bad and wait your turn. There's no shame in that. There's no point in trying to rush the process. You know, look at uh, Phoenix. They did the right thing. They tanked. They got picks, and ultimately, they just need the right, better, and fit. But I, I don't see I don't see the talent turn around next year. Everybody got to take a huge leap. Grant, Stewart, Bay, Killian, and whoever they get as a rookie, it's not guaranteed you're going to walk away with Green, Suggs, Mobley, or Kay Cunningham. It's true. It's not guaranteed. You know, and this is the thing she's supposed to say, but where, where, where's the upside at? Unless somebody come in like Allen Iverson or Michael Jordan as a rookie, where's the upside at? Where's you telling me that we going to get better at? Where? It, start, it straight ain't from the coaching. Ain't nobody coming to play here, not right now. So where is it just having Killian and him being a point guard and think Bay and Stewart are going to make the next step up? Okay. But ask yourself, think, think about the East for a minute. Think about the East for a minute. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. Always adding something I ain't putting in. All right. Um, we still got to deal with Brooklyn. 76ers, Milwaukee, all right? Then the Knicks rising, the Hawks rising, the Celtics falling, but they could easily rise. The Heat, let's think, just think about the East for a minute. Are you going to be better than the Heat next year? Probably not. Celtics, not. Hawks, maybe they come back to Arbor, not. Knicks, not. Bucks, 70s, no. Sin, Cleveland got, I mean, Chicago got more talent than Detroit. Look at the Raptors and the Wizards and the Pacers and the Hornets and you no, know, and, and brace being bad for two, three, four years. Get a green. Then next year, get the next best guy. You know, about three years, you probably get the best, and a lot of these dudes don't start to peak. You know, since 1981, they ain't picked this high. You know what I'm saying? In 1981 draft, who did they draft? I think it was Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, it was Isaiah Thomas. So, come on, man. It, it, it makes sense to pick that high. You know, it just makes too much sense. Be bad. Embrace being bad. For two dollars. talking about it's a rebuild. It's a retool. It's a... No, get those high picks. That's how you turn it around, man. When you can't get free people. So, we're tanking. Don't work. Look at Phoenix. Booker. The, the other guy. Markel. Whatever his name is. The, the forward. Just keep going on and on. Booker. Aiden. You know, be bad. It worked for Philadelphia. It worked for Phoenix. Just adding, um, just just adding, um, you know, Chris Paul. You know, just go ahead and, and go ahead and get Jalen Green and see what happens if you can. FMO, we see what happens. That's my thing, man. Go ahead and just be bad. That's what people just don't just don't want just don't want to happen. Be bad. You know, it should be embraced. It should be embraced, man. And, um, you know, for him, I mean, you pose to put confidence out there, but don't gas me up and go out here and, and be back to those Andre Drummond days where y'all seven, eight, Greg Monroe, nine, ten in the draft. And then when you get to that point in the draft, it's always a miss. It's always a miss. We miss Giannis. We miss Goldberg. We miss, you know, always missing something. You know, and, and, you know, when you can't draft, you got to get up in the high and make sure you can't get, you know, you can't miss, you know, uh, you can't miss that. You can't miss chances are, 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 are higher or less. But um, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. You think the Pistons make the playoffs next year or not? Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video quest, all our social media links in description. Um, check out Detroit Pistons Talk Playlist. Just reach out if you got a business question, inquiry, wanna you know, um wanna um I don't know. Wanna chop it up, video request, sorry. Uh hit me up, wanna make a donation, cash up CJ Good313. That's in the description, PayPal link there as well too. Rest with a donate, share, share the video. Um but hey, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. Where she sports talk, peace.